Hey, Mark Shepard, Hypnosis.com, and I'm on a rant. I got to warn you, <laughs> there, there might be some swear words coming up because I'm feeling really passionate and intense about something. I'm working with a couple of clients who are what you might consider challenging cases. Um, and what I love about these people is that they're getting that this is work that they have to do and that no drug, no pill, no magic formula, no incantation, no new breathing technique is going to stop the anxiety or whatever negative pattern you're running through over and over again in your life without you having to do something. You have to do it. No one else is going to stop it for you. No outside event or force is going to stop it for you. And But here's the deal. The thing to get is to own your present reality, to literally own anything that is happening inside you or outside of you as something that you have created. This takes you out of being a victim, and whether it's true or not doesn't matter, but when you're like, yeah, I created this, that puts you in a place of power. That puts you in a place of power. Please listen carefully. Watch this video again. I'm going to say some really intense stuff right now. The process by which you have made yourself miserable is exactly the same cognitive, mental, emotional, spiritual, intellectual, neurological process that you could use to make yourself feel fabulous. All you need to do is change the content of that process. But first you have to be aware you are doing a process. You are doing a process. Ding. Oh, how do you know it's time to brush your teeth? Ding. Certain time of day. Well, it's time to go to bed. I brush my teeth before I go to bed. Boom. Ding. Certain time of day. I brush my teeth when I wake up in the morning. How do you know it's time to do the problem? That's one of the key, key, key questions. How do you know it's time to do the problem? You are doing it. Until you get this, you're not going to get results. This is the fundamental of fundamentals. I created this. Therefore, I can create something better. How you created it is unconscious. But you can bring that up to consciousness just the same way you can bring your breathing into awareness. And you can control your breathing by paying attention to it and getting in the new habit of focusing on the breath. Five up. Hold it. Five. Release. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Right? You can choose the thoughts you think, just like you can choose to focus on your breath. When you remember, it's a habit. Install a new habit. You've installed new habits before. You now know how to ride a bicycle or drive a car, most likely. It's a habit. It's in your unconscious mind. You put it there. No one else put it there. Right? So that's what I'm trying to say and I please understand that I'm saying it with compassion. I may be strident. I may get pissed because it pisses me off to see people torturing themselves with anxiety, with past tra traumatic memories, limiting beliefs about themselves. It fucking hurts me. I hate to see it. <laughs> I, want, I want you to break free of that because on the outside, it's amazing. When you are actually realizing that everything you are doing, feeling, experiencing, noticing is something that you actually have control over, you can begin to consciously create something better. It's a practice. It doesn't happen instantly. And it usually doesn't even start happening until you're so miserable with some pattern that isn't medical, you know, it's just something you do and it causes you to just be in fucking agony 
until it hurts so much till you finally go, okay, everything else, nothing's worked. I'm fine. I'll listen. What? And I'm going to say to you, if you created that, you can create something better. If you created it, you can discover how you created it and you can interrupt that pattern or install different content into that pattern so it leads you to a different result. So think about that. I created this. That is not blaming the victim. Please understand me. It is owning your reality, literally owning it. Yeah, I created this. I created the balance in my bank account by my beliefs, by my actions, by the thoughts I think. I create the health I'm in, the physical fitness I'm in because of the thoughts I've been thinking. What thoughts do you want to think? What reality do you want? What thoughts will lead to the reality that you want? That, my friend, is your daily mind mastery for Wednesday. It's a big one. It's a big one. If you want to go deeper with me, this is the kind of stuff I do in my courses. This literally was a course module, and I'm giving it to you for free so you can experience the fact that there's a revolution going on, and you can be a part of it. It's a peaceful revolution. It's a revolution of people owning their own reality. And once we do that, the planet has hope. Because people who are not being driven by fear and ego can actually think clearly and find solutions to challenges that we face as a species. I think it's important. I'm on a mission. I want a million sets of eyes and a million sets of ears tuned to this channel <laughs> going out and making a difference with their new way of looking at the world we can do this people this is something that is powerful and i challenge you to join me on the quest to be awake to be here in this present moment right now all right talk to you later my name is mark shepherd honesthypnosis.com i will see you my friend on the inside